Welcome to iTips. In a country where the culture is as rich as the king himself, there are certain customs that the traveler needs to observe and practice with the locals. But with influences from countries such as India, China, and Cambodia, and with religions such as Hinduism and Buddhism, this melting pot offers a unique blend of stunning culture for everyone to enjoy. And this week, we look at the basics to see you through your travels. As common as a handshake, Thai people greet each other with a two-hand bowing gesture called the Y. This salutation is not only used to say hello, but it can also be used to thank or apologize to someone. Your travels to Thailand would not be complete without visiting a few temples along the way. Even though temples have their own practices, most require that guests dress conservatively by covering their shoulders and knees and removing shoes before entering sacred places. The Thai language is one of the heart rather than that of logic, and the Thais appreciate a person who doesn't express too strong emotions, but instead is patient and calm. Conversely, they enjoy to smile, laugh, and show their kind hospitality. Another simple and effective way to do it all in the Thai way is to stay cool, calm, and collected. No matter what the situation, Keep your voice to a low and almost melodic tone. The easier your voice is to listen to, the more you'll be understood. This shows signs of maturity, tolerance, and mutual respect. And the list goes on, but a useful rule to remember is to show respect not only to the king and the elders, but to everyone. Angie here with the iTravelChannel.tv, making your trip easier with iTips. There's a reason why Thailand has been my home for the last eight months. We just moved here and we are loving the vibe here. The street food is amazing. It's one of my favorite countries in the world with so much to offer. You simply cannot beat the beautiful nature, smiley locals, delicious food, and the affordable prices. But coming to Thailand as an American means learning how to adapt to the different customs, traditions, and lifestyle of the Thai people. It's completely opposite to back home in almost every category across the board. This is the original Red Bull, which you can only find in Thailand, and it tastes really sweet, and apparently it's stronger. Here are 10 wacky things I find about Thai culture. One, lady boys. If they're too pretty, it's probably a man. Check for the neck, check for the hands. No country has a higher tolerance for lady boys than Thailand. You can see transgender women all over the streets and they are perfectly accepted into Thai culture. Oftentimes, you won't even realize it's a lady boy because it looks like a beautiful woman. Two, white skin obsessed. In the US, we think that having a tan is attractive, but not in Thailand. The locals here, much like the Koreans and Filipinos, are obsessed with being as white as possible. The one who has a white skin, the one who will look the beautiful for the boy's eyes. They spend an absurd amount of money on whitening creams, body bleaching, and they even go as far as IV injections. Three, sniffing obsessed. Today I'm tired, and when you're tired, if you use this, it really wakes you up. This thing, it's like Vicks Vapor Rub on steroids, it just <laughs> straight through the nose. The Thais love to stuff menthol products in their nostrils by sniffing these little white tubes called Yadom. <sighs> I'm a new man. I'm getting laughed at by the Thai girls behind me, it's okay. Four, Lay's chips. For one reason or another, you can find the strangest flavors of Lay's potato chips in any 7-Eleven or supermarket. Michael, would you prefer the spicy lobster or the hot chili squid flavor? You tell me. Five, portable restaurants. Thailand is a cradle of street food and many vendors have their entire shop on two wheels. It's actually amazing because they can move around whenever they wish. Right up to the hot lady. And I guess it's also a good way to avoid paying rent. Six, red fanta. All around Thailand, you can find spirit houses with red fanta in front. Every morning, an offering is made to the spirits and the red fanta is a tradition, but don't you dare try to drink it. Seven, ice in beer. This one, I just cannot get used to. Thai people always put ice in their beers to keep it cold, but it totally dilutes the beer taste. Make sure to tell them no ice or they will do it automatically for you. 8. Bazaar Cafes Bangkok is notorious for its many quirky themed cafes. My favorites are the Unicorn Cafe, Hello Kitty Cafe, Welcome to Kitty Hall Cafe ha. and then the animal ones with small rabbits and cute little puppies. 9. Funny Nicknames My name is Oat, like Oatmeal. <laughs> One thing I love about my Thai friends is that they all have 21st century nicknames which are usually given at birth. They can be anything from colors to animals to science fiction movies or random objects. 
objects. 10. Your head is off limits. When in Thailand, do not touch anyone's head as it is considered sacred and the cleanest part of the body. It's very offensive to touch it, even jokingly, so consider yourself warned. So there you have it, 10 wacky things about Thai culture. In all honesty, I love this country and I hope you get the chance to visit. If you have been here before, let me know your favorite things about Thailand in the comments below. So sick. Yeah, go. Oh, right, like go. you're in a tunnel, man. Yeah, that was cool. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel video, 